So why is it your partner changes after you make love together? Well, astrologically, the answer is quite simple. When you meet your partner, you see them through the lens of the sign on the fifth house cusp. Think of the house cusps like filters. You are seeing your partner based on the energy of the sign on your fifth house cusp. Then once you make love, both you and your partner see each other through the sign on each of your seventh houses. Often the energies of your fifth and seventh houses are very different. Now you might think it's as simple as knowing the signs on your fifth and seventh, but it's not. You have to know how to make the transition between them. Without knowing how to make the transition, the spark that was present at the beginning of your connection could disappear and you're left thinking the partner isn't who you thought they were. For some, if they date a lot but can't seem to turn it into a stable relationship, well, then they know their fifth house energy quite well but can't quite make the transition to the seventh. For others, if they're not dating as much because they're too focused on the relationship they want to create before it's even time to do so, they're in the seventh house without awareness to the fifth. You must know both houses and how to make the transition between them. And before you know that, I suggest you know exactly what you want to find in a partner on all four levels, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. That's why I created Avatar Attraction, my latest book designed to help you use astrology to manifest your ideal partner. So if finding your ideal partner is something you want to do, grab the book at avatarattraction.com today. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, aloha, ahuiho. I'll talk with you again soon. Take care.